Hey hamsters, the world of crypto is full of possibilities. But figuring out how to work together, make decisions and build something amazing can be a challenge. Enter the DAO, your decentralized crypto powered clubhouse. Think of it like a group of hamsters running on a shared wheel. Instead of one hamster calling the shots, everyone in the club gets a say in which direction the wheel spins in a bottoms up management approach. A concept that is becoming increasingly necessary as centralized organizations like FTX highlight the need for bad actors holding too much power in a space that was meant to be more decentralized. Mm -hmm. This week's Academy will break down what a DAO is, how they work, and five of the most notable examples in history. Let's go. Here is the breakdown. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization and it is an entity with no central leadership governed by a community organized around a specific set of rules. A more fun description from one of the DAO founders? A group chat with a bank account or a financial flash mob. To this day, these autonomous models are highly influential in blockchain related use which you might still come across first-hand in DeFi platforms. They've even come together to form organizations, including businesses and non-profits. Yes, this academy might require more than a nibble. What? Oh, so up until now, we're used to companies being backed by legal status. Kind of like hamsters in a place with a solid, secure wall around them. But a DAO, remember, is more like a group of hamsters running in a wheel together. But here's a question. What happens if a bunch of hamsters decide to run wild without any structure or coordination? Chaos, right? DAOs address this by running on smart contracts, which hold the rules of the organization and all its storage. Because everything is transparent, the rules can't be edited on a whim, nor are they hidden from the population as a whole like they are in a private company. To bring things forward, this means members of the DAO would have to create a proposal and call for a vote. The vote would then be presented to all members with voting rights. After voting, the smart contract could calculate the vote, something that may or may not be automated. Think of them as automated hamster wheels that spin only when the group agrees. These digital scripts could, if programmed, help carry out decision as soon as enough votes are in. If the decision is agreed upon and the smart contract allows for it, then the action might also be carried out automatically in response to the vote. And of course, if the proposal doesn't get the support it needs, the wheel stays put. Here is another example. A group of hamsters, members, propose Poses changes to the way the blockchain's tokenomics work. Maybe they want to increase the circulating supply of coins, burn some reserve tokens, or issue rewards to token holders. If enough votes roll in, the smart contract spins into action. No hamster needs to push the button manually. Oh, this is nice. However, to understand the true power of DAOs, a few examples are in order. Starting at the top, one of the most popular DAOs is Uniswap. Today, most of crypto trading occurs on exchanges run by a centralized company. Yes, Coinbase and Binance, we are talking about you. Under these platforms, users leave their funds in the control of the entities and let a traditional order book system govern their trading. In contrast, Uniswap is an exchange built on the Ethereum blockchain that is completely open source and uses something called an automated liquidity protocol, which means users can list tokens on the exchange for free. No fees like some of the big players. Not bad, not bad. And as DAO rule states, anyone can become a member by holding a uni token, which gives you voting rights on how an org is run and administered. It's a bit like being part of a hamster crew. Every vote you cast is a small step that helps drive the whole community forward, keeping the wheel of governance turning smoothly. This takes us to our number two spot. The Central Land. This is a virtual extended reality social experience all governed by a DAO known as the Decentraland Foundation. As a non-profit, the Decentraland Foundation ensures 
that this digital world is controlled by its users. The power of vote is uniquely calculated based on mana, land, or name that a user holds. Therefore, the more mana and likely the more involvement a user has in the community, the greater their impact can be. Users continue to flog the Decentraland likely based on a 2022 report that highlights creators get to take home 97.5% of the revenue earned in the digital realm. And where users go, the rest will follow. Decentraland has since caught the attention of global brands like Coca-Cola and Adidas, who see it as a unique opportunity to connect with digital native audiences. Of course, not every project is a winner. In fact, the very first example of a DAO actually wasn't a staggering success. Mm -hmm. The DAO. The DAO was actually hacked due to vulnerabilities in its code and 60 million dollars of ether were removed from circulation. The project was initially born on April 30th, 2016 with a token sale that distributed DAO tokens in exchange for ether. 150 million dollars USD worth across 11,000 investors to be exact. With these DAO tokens, users could facilitate voting on the allocation of collected funds to different businesses that needed investment. Then, a little under three months after it was launched, the hacks took place. However, what the DAO did bring about was a number of notable improvements in the security of the DAOs to follow. Constitution DAO Another lesson learned came from Constitution DAO, which steamed from a joke on Twitter and became a very real attempt to get a copy of the US Constitution. To do so, a man named Jonah and 30 other people formed a DAO and offered people around the world the chance to donate to it with people tokens. In exchange for their donation, they earned the right to do with a copy of the Constitution. The project, which existed from 2021 to 2021, has since been said to have run its course as a single-purpose DAO. On some merits, it was successful. For one, it showed that like-minded individuals could unite for a common cause, and they raised a significant capital to bid at Sotheby's an estimated $47 million, which was enough to participate at this high-end auction house. Think of a group of hamsters teaming up to push a giant wheel together, each of them bringing their energy to the same goal. The only hitch? They lost the bid. Huh? But when it comes to transparency, the project did share that they had made the funds available to the community once again. This last one might be a little less black and white, but some have gone so far as contended that the actual first DAO was... Bitcoin! Let's look at the origin story. The meaning of DAO can actually be traced back to another concept, DAC, or Decentralized Autonomous Corporation. Think of it like this. Bitcoin is like a hamster running on its own wheel, constantly moving and working without a central authority. The idea of a DAC was similar, an organization that operates without a central manager, like a group of hamsters, all working in sync, each contributing to the overall goal. But the term has evolved since the early Bitcoin days, and now a DAO usually refers to the organizations deployed as smart contracts, not the blockchain itself. So, this one is still up for debate. Unfortunately, DAOs still have a little ways to go before they are perfect, as no group decision making ever is. Now we play the waiting game. To go from popular to mainstream, poor governance and badly managed treasuries are still seen as major opportunities. However, lessons are important, and today's DAOs are still paving the way for more inclusive systems over the traditional top-down approach. Thanks for joining today's Academy. Be sure to subscribe, and remember, hamsters are power. One for all and all for one. Bye!